Disclaimer, the following is a parody of Cinema Sins Everything Wrong With series. If you're unfamiliar with their humor, I suggest you go watch their content first. The intent of this video is for comedy and entertainment purposes only. With this in mind, you should know that the feelings of the creator of this video towards the game in question will not be accurately reflected here. That being said, the creator has no intention of offending anyone involved with the game's creation, its franchise, the game itself, or the people who like the game. Without further ado, thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy. Disney Interactive, Cinderella still has brown hair. This world is just too small. Hey, it's a small world after all. Why exactly does Ventus have no shirt? He has everything else. Huh? Oh, awesome garbage excuse to explain why Roxas doesn't look like Sora. No, I get you, Birth by Sleep. Ah. A keyblade. Dude, Ventus, best keyblade warrior. He can use the keyblade in his sleep. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's really not that funny. Oh, yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. And one for Ventus, even though he's not taking the exam. So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well, that's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? An unbreakable connection. That's not real magic. Use some Kuragor Zero Gravig on that bitch. Don't worry about me. You two focus on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. From what? A couple of floating balls that aren't even really moving anymore? We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both perform commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. Well, that's not entirely true. The darkness seeped out a little bit, but he didn't use it. That's like someone not keeping their test covered up so they can't be copied off of. I can see the test, but I don't copy. I didn't mean for it to happen. I could have cheated, but I didn't. There's darkness within me. So what does that matter? I know I'm strong enough to hold it back. You are, and yes. you did. That's why I'm so confused as to why you didn't get the Mark of Mastery. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? Well, yeah, you just saw him leave, didn't you? You're fine as you are. <laughs> Last, remember that order must be kept. I cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. <laughs> Sorry, I just know that this isn't gonna happen. Fear leads to obsession with power. An obsession beckons the darkness. Oh my god, I just realized that this is the same speech that Yoda gives to Anakin. Basically, Luke Skywalker is telling Terra that he shouldn't be afraid lest he become Darth Terranord. Oh, does this mean Star Wars confirmed for Kingdom Hearts 3? Ah! Oh, oh god, oh, jeez. Sorry, PTSD. If you succeed, I will ask the mirror where you might find this Master Xehanort. And the mirror will know? Do you dare to question me? Well, yes. I mean, I just met you, and I don't know if this mirror is legit. What, is what I demand is her life. I've had more than enough of her light. What did this maiden do to you? She's prettier than me. She has whiter skin. She must die. How does she know he doesn't have it? Did she ask the mirror? She could have just asked, yo, Magic Mirror, is this fool gonna bring me this heart, though? And saved everyone a bunch of time. Magic Mirror on the wall! Consume this fool once and for all! Alas, my liege, that I cannot do. I have no power save answers true. 
Huh? You dare defy your queen? It's not defying you, it literally can't do anything, it's a f***ing mirror! Magic mirror, instruct this knave, give him the answers he doth crave! Beyond both light and dark he dwells, where war was waged upon the fells. Is that all? What do you mean, is that all? That answer's nothing! It's vague as shit! Darkness always finds a way into a wounded heart. You have to be strong. The strength of heart will carry you through the hardest of trials, said Tara, but we're not there yet. Tara, in your heart, do you believe that dreams can come true? I do. But I also believe you have to make an effort to make them come true. Yes, of course. But sometimes just believing in dreams is easier said than done. Cinderella believes her dreams can come true. I wanted her to see that she is right. So that's what made her shine. Faith in her heart that anything is possible. So basically the fairy godmother is telling Tara that yes, you do need to make an effort to make your dreams come true, but only when it comes to believing. The more you believe, the wish that you dream will come true. So basically, no, you don't really need to make an effort at all. met you before. Have you? You barely acknowledged him when he was there. You're not worried? Didn't you tell me it was important to stay strong? Yeah, he did. Oh. And you kept crying, even yeah, when the monsters attacked. Wow, this is some piss-poor ball. Just the prince, Lady Tremaine, the two stepsisters, and the Grand Duke. This is sad. Guards? Guards? Oh, where could they possibly be? These people don't even have guards. What kind of a castle is this? Thank you. You saved us all. <sighs> the guests were just starting to enjoy themselves. What guests? A creature of pure darkness. One of my making. Venetus. Are you telling me he came from you? He literally just said he made him. How was that not clear? So, are you here to train with us? Where are you from? Who is that man with you? You good with a keyblade? Uh, 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 Whoa! What's the matter? Hey, I'd go crazy too if a guy I just met wouldn't stop asking me questions. What you... What's Master Xehanort doing here? Oh, I wonder. Excuse me, Your Elderness. Huh? I believe you dropped this book. Where were you keeping it? Excuse you didn't walk in with it. Oh, uh, I'm very sad to say this isn't one of mine. Then where exactly did this book come from? It appeared when you did. If it's all right, Your Elderness, might I have a closer look? The name is Merlin. I'm a powerful wizard, and I'll have you know a lot of wisdom comes with age. Exactly, that as doesn't make you not old. Not, anyway, as I said, the book is not mine, but I'd be happy to keep it here for you. Ah, so it's Terra's fault we have to waste our time with the Hundred Acre Woods. Fuck this fight is Terra, fuck this fight is Terra, fuck this fight is Terra. You let Aqua take you home. No way! I want to go with you guys. You can't. We have a dangerous task ahead of us. I don't want you to get hurt. And what is this dangerous task, Tara? It doesn't sound like what the Master told you to do. It might be a different route, but I'm fighting the darkness. I'm not so sure. I've been to the same worlds as you, and I've seen what you've done. What? Take Aurora's light? Because that's pretty much all Terra's done wrong at this point. And even then, he was kind of forced to do it. Master Zaynor is the only one I could still count on. Oh yeah, the guy that accidentally created the guy that started this mess and that allegedly couldn't restrain him? Totes trustworthy. That thing right there. It's called the Keyblade, isn't it? Yep. Seems like these days everybody's got one of those. Right? <laughs> For a Keyblade Master, you're not very... What's the word? Good. How do you forget the word good? Master Erekus, you see, is so afraid of darkness that he too has succumbed. Not to darkness, but to light. It shines so bright, he forgets that light begets darkness. And Aqua and Ventus, their lights shine too bright. It is only natural that they cast shadows on your heart. Erekus, he's such a fool! Light and darkness, they are a balance. 
one that must always be maintained. Jera, you are the one who shows the true mark of mastery, but he refuses to see it. Yeah, when you think about it, this is kind of Ericus' fault. If you just named Terra Master, none of this would have happened. If you just tried to make a balance between light and dark, we'd be telling another story. Because I have to become a racer? Kingdom Carts. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most exemplary citizen. Well, one thing I know for sure, I'm voting for Terra. Your racing really saved the day against those monster carts. Yeah, you know, the monsters that weren't really doing anything aside from racing? Totally terrorists. Also, how does winning a race make Terra a good citizen? Well, that's right, kid. You got the potential to conquer the darkness inside you. And I'll even give you some pointers. I mean, believe me, if anybody knows conquering, I know conquering. Yeah, I remember when he conquered Mount Olympus. Oh! You would not believe the bureaucracy involved with these things. Name? Terra. Kind of earthy, but all right. Oh, no. brav the fuck. Oh, Hades. Wait. Ugh. Seriously, does, like, no one come to these games? <laughs> Who the hell is cheering? There is no one here! I really wanted to fight you fair and square. <laughs> Get it? Fair and square? <laughs> okay. He has no actual feelings, only destructive instincts I have carefully chosen for him. Or perhaps you need another demonstration of my evil genius net. Where was he keeping that experiment capsule? God damn, that took forever. For a supposedly advanced alien race, they sure have really poor security management. This chest must be brought to Skull Rock safely. Don't let that Peter Pan anywhere near it. Where is Skull Rock? What does Peter Pan look like? These are the questions you ask before accepting a task. Boy, you sure cut that monster down to size. What monster? There were multiple unversed. What's the meaning of this? You know, I didn't give it that much thought. You never give anything much thought. I'll tell you what. Put the stuff that's really special to you in there. That can be your treasure. Yeah! yeah! Real swell idea! Thanks! <gasps> Kinda makes me wonder... what I'd put in there. Oh, he's not talking about the chest, he just suddenly remembered Aqua. What are you doing here? Oh. My friend's dad took us out on the boat. This is where we like to play. But... They won't let us row out here by ourselves. Not till we get older. So, where is his dad? He brought you out here and he won't let you row to and from the main island by yourselves, not to mention that the boat is still there, so he must be on this island with you guys. You gotta keep this a secret, okay? Otherwise, all the magic will wear off. Riku must have really taken that to heart because he still keeps that secret to this day. Not once has he ever mentioned you. Who was that guy? Somebody you know? Maybe. Oh, there you go again. Just tell me. I really can't. I've got to keep it a secret. Now it was me, don't. I'm like the best secret keeper in the world. Said Sora, the kid who would eventually reveal the existence of other worlds to about almost everyone. You were right, Aqua. And so was the Master. I did need to be watched. Well, no, not really. If they just trusted you, you wouldn't have flipped shit, and Erika's would probably still be alive. Terra technically done nothing wrong, other than just take Aurora's light, which he didn't even have the power to do in the first place, let Jumba out, who was clearly cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and overall trust Xehanort. But even so, when you think about it, Terra didn't really have a reason to distrust Xehanort. Hell, Erika's trusted Xehanort even after he scarred Erika's face. Couple that with him talking about the balance between light and dark and how Erika's didn't trust him because he had darkness. Don't get me wrong, Terra f***ed up. Royally. But it's not entirely his fault. When you don't trust someone, they're more than likely not going to place their trust in you, either. Keyblade! No, Ventus. Fuck this fight, fuck this fight, fuck this fight! He's definitely not swinging it fast enough for it to make that sound. Ventus acts amazed at seeing Terra activate and use his Keyblade armor, but proceeds to use it himself like he's used it a thousand times. His name is Terra. He's dressed kind of like me. He's like dressed me. nothing like you! You mean this stranger saw you and sent his horde of evil demons after you? Terra would never do that! Oh, of course. I'm sure he wouldn't. Not if he's someone who's your friend. Princess, you trustn't be so musting. Oh, uh, trusting. He's a lion! Mark my words! My oh, god, these f***ing assholes! 
They've been nothing but mean to Ventus since we got here. Oh, I thank you, my pet. To tell the truth, I really don't know what I would have done without that. <laughs> Terra, what did you do? Nothing. Hell, at this point, both of you have done the same amount of wrong. Terra took Aurora's light and you gave the witch the poison apple that ends up in Snow White's mouth. Somebody tell me how I got so small! Yeah, somebody tell me too. It's never really given a reason and it doesn't make sense. Hmm, I'm going to the Royal Ball tonight. <sighs> I guess dreams really do come true. Okay, question. This is all obviously happening before the events in Terra's scenario, but how exactly is that possible? I know there's an official timeline for this whole story, I'm looking at it right now, but even so, Ventus left mere seconds after Terra did, but then hasn't visited Enchanted Dominion at all yet. When he arrives at Dwarf Woodlands, it's safe to assume that their scenarios are happening simultaneously, but now that we're in Castle of Dreams, Ventus' scenario is taking place way before Terra's. How is this possible? Was Ventus just f***ing around in the lanes between until he arrived at Dwarf Woodlands, coincidentally just as Terra got there? Was Terra lost, so that's why he arrived at Castle of Dreams after Ventus did, even though he, again, left Dwarf Woodlands before Ventus did? I guess you could say Ventus travels faster than Terra, but that still doesn't explain why Terra and Ven's stories are happening at relatively the same time during Dwarf Woodlands. Ven doesn't visit any other world before that, and Terra takes some time in Enchanted Dominion. Did Ventus just get lost or didn't know where to go? And don't even get me fucking started on Aqua Scenario. Oh, stop! You get away from her! What? Oh! I'm sorry. It's just, I've never seen anyone so beautiful. <coughs> <coughs> Suddenly Mickey. All I have to do is think it, and the Star Shard will take me anywhere I want to go. At least I thought it would. I haven't quite got the fine points down like... When? Or where? It just kind of kicks in whenever it wants to. But I wouldn't have met you if it hadn't brought me here. Oh, so Star Shard X Machina. <laughs> now who do you think will defend the castle? Huh? If you two huh? go skipping off. Which reminds me, his lordship was asking for you. You literally just bitched about them leaving their post, only to tell them they have to leave their post. <laughs> Another scamp looking to wake the powers inside him. Is that it? What? How'd you know? <laughs> we wizards have a knack for knowing such things. You pedantic f You couldn't even tell him that it's because Terra came by? For shame, Merlin, for shame. We make a good team. Sure do. Oh yeah, I got you these tickets. For what? Lifetime passes to Disney Town. He said to... He said to take two grown-ups. No, he said there was a pass for you and two grown-ups. You never said anything about having to take them with you. Well, you're not the only one. I know. You, me, and Ven all share the same dream. Hate to be that guy, but it's you, Ven, and I share the same dream. Already? I'll see you when I see you. After all, we're friends now. <laughs> Get it memorized. Yeah, f***ing everyone get it memorized! Four different adventures have happened after this one, and no one has bothered to bring up Ventus Terra or Aqua, even though pretty much everyone has met them! You ready? Well, I can tell you are. Yeah. What exactly are they going to do at the castle? It's never really explained why Aiza and Lee got caught up becoming nobodies. Were they going to become royal guards? Jeff wants to get his grubby hands on a prize. And he knows that nobody's gonna vote for him if he puts his own name on the ballot. But nobody's fooled. Yeah! <laughs> Wish somebody was looking out for me. Aqua <coughs> and Terra. <clears throat> I told you, I'm book solid. N-O spells forget it. Discount Henry DeVito. Come on! Sound the alert! Prisoners on the loose! Knowing the security around here, the alarms will sound in about half an hour. Fairy panty shot. And a very gratuitous one at that. Let Tinkerbell go! Ha! Huh, one of Peter Pan's brats. Well, tell that cowardly sparrow if he wants- I know this might be a stupid question, but how is he holding the Star Shard with his hook? Ugh, even using exploits f*** this fight. So. Yep. I don't need it if I've got Terra and Aqua. Whoa! And Pan never mentioned Terra at all, even though Ventus mentioned him. Just tell us where the king is, Mr. Yen Sid, sir, and me and Donald will go right there and save him. You too? 
That may not be adequate. But I'm the captain of the King's Royal Knights! Won't stop you from healing me when I've already used Cure. The all-powerful Keyblade! I know there's a difference between Keyblade and Keyblade, but, well, that's the thing. No one knows the difference when said out loud without text. So, if Heartless already existed, why are this game's enemies the unversed? Why not both? Suddenly Aqua's helmet just... slid off, I guess? <laughs> then does his helmet slid off too? Don't know how, considering it was frozen solid, but we'll go with it. God damn, he's so angry he thought himself. That's some cartoon shit. Also, fuck this fight, fuck this fight, fuck this fight. Wow, the fact that I have to say that four times in one game. Now that my body is about to perish, you and I will have to join together. Oh, a fucking course he has to look like Sora. Anything to save Terra and Aqua. Huh. It's always about your friends, isn't it? At least I have some. I've become a part of their heart, just as they become a part of mine. My friends are my power. My friends are my power, cliche. Wait, Ben! No, he mustn't. If you didn't want him to do that, why give him the Keyblade armor in the first place? One dropped by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. You will? Of course, Your Highness. After all, you finally found someone whom you wish to marry. Marry? This dude doesn't even know her name! I'm Aqua, but tell me how you know about Ven. As a friend, good friend. Ven Ven help a jock fix a friend of to rest. I swear, if not for the subtitles, I wouldn't know half of what Jock says. It's all right. Leave this to me. Jack, don't lose that key. It wouldn't matter. You realize you have a key-shaped sword that can open any lock in the universe. It's gotta be at least a broken leg, right? Would it... Uh, would it be all right if I tried on the glass slipper? Hmm. I met you at the palace. Unfortunately, you are not the young lady the prince is looking for. Neither are Drizelle and Anastasia, and both of you saw them walk out of the palace with Lady Tremaine! <laughs> the dwarves only knew Snow White for a couple of hours, if that. How do they have a coffin not only of her size, but with her f***ing name on it? She was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs. And made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories. What bedtime? You've only known her for a few hours! Either that or Aqua royally f***ed up and took her sweet ass time to get here. Is something wrong? This castle, it's different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait, you mean you know Snow White? Whoa, Aqua, that's a pretty big assumption to make. No one said anything about Snow White and the dwarves never mentioned she was a princess. <laughs> <laughs> does... does that count as necrophilia? Tara would never do anything to help you! Quite the contrary. He fully embraced the darkness within himself. Stop lying! See for yourself all the powers of hell! How the edge? I want to go with you guys. You can't. We have a dangerous task ahead of us. I don't want you to get hurt. And what is this dangerous task, Tara? It doesn't sound like what the Master told you to do. 
Uh, yes, it does. Fighting the Unverse would qualify as dangerous, and that's what Eric has told you to do. You really have no reason up to this point to even suspect that Terra's doing something different. It might be a different route, but I'm fighting the darkness. I'm not so sure. I've been to the same worlds as you, and I've seen what you've done. You haven't seen sh you know that Cinderella was totally okay with Terra, no one even mentioned him while you were in Dwarf Woodlands, and you just took Maleficent's word for it. You don't even know what he allegedly did. She could have been bluffing for all you know. Aqua, now that you're a Keyblade Master, you've let it go to your head. Hey, f*** you, Ventus. Aqua's only trying to do what's right. Sure, she's not really doing much of a good job, but damn it, she's trying! Oh, you're very kind, Horace. How about that Pete, though? Captain Justice, my hide. You can't count on him for anything! Wait... You're saying his real name is Pete? Who in their right mind would name their child Captain Justice? This year, we have multiple winners! The Million Dreams Award goes to... Ventus, Aqua, and Terra! All three of you! That's statistically improbable. Chip and Dale voted for Terra, Horace voted for Aqua, and it's sort of safe to assume that Huey, Dewey, and Louie voted for Ventus. That would leave Queen Minnie, Queen Daisy, and Pete. No one else is around. If one of the three voted for Terra and the other two voted for Aqua, then sure, all three of them win. But we all know that Pete, being Pete, voted for himself. Are you telling me that Pluto can vote too? Oh, Pete, I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. Nah, sure they did. Wait, what? Hey, let me go! Put me down! What? Oh, God! The brooms can use psychokinesis! They're lifting him without even touching him! With your help, soon every world in existence will all be mine. Wait, so is this the time that Pete got banished? Because in Kingdom Hearts 2, Donald said that Mickey was the one to do it. I got an idea. I'll sign you up myself. And if you need a trainer, I'd be more than happy to put you through the ropes. Whoa, okay, not cool, Phil. Please sign me up for the games. Wait, how often are the games held? The last games just ended, you'd think it'd be an annual thing or something. If that's not the case, then why doesn't Hercules just sign up again to prove his strength? So, I take it you're acquainted with the Spineless Chicken Heart. Spineless Chicken Heart? You think he has anything to do with Squall Leonhardt? Never mind. Well, how about this? I become a hero, then we go on a date. I... I can't make any promises. Yes! Great, it's settled. Herohood, here I come. <laughs> it's gonna be really awkward if in Kingdom Hearts 3, Aqua comes back for the date only to find out that Zack kicked the bucket. So it really does belong to you. Where have you seen that shape? Have you not been hearing 626 say Terra's name every time you see him? Uh, we're going on a treasure hunt! I don't know why I'm just asking this now, but where are the rest of the Lost Boys? We've never had to fly that high before! What if we fall? Hey, when did you two turn into cowards? Don't you think you're asking a bit much of them? This is between me and them, Aqua. Aqua is your leader, asshole. You said so yourself. Sora, do you like Riku? Of course I like him. He's my best friend. Oh, thank goodness you said that last part, otherwise Tumblr would be going so f***ing insane. One Keyblade is enough for any friendship. Ah, poor naive Aqua. Terra's heart is leading him to the ancient Keyblade graveyard, where wielders of those weapons once waged war. Whoa, try to say that last part five times fast. And just like the legend says, the Keyblade War will begin! Shut up! I'm sick of your nonsense! Look, you all know what I'm going to say, so why bother saying it? Okay, so you expect me to believe that Castle Oblivion was the land of departure? Alright, I can believe that. What I can't believe is that Sora, Donald, and Goofy walk from wherever the hell it is that they ended up in Kingdom Hearts 1 all the way here. Why would Pluto be there with a message from the king if he's from Disney Town? Can Pluto travel to different worlds at his leisure? Sora? What's wrong? Huh? Your... Riku is apparently psychic. He foresaw the tear that would run down Sora's face. That's Ugh, I thought I could go one game without seeing this not a boss. Wait, so they get thrown out. So then, how do they become nobodies? 
Mickey gave back the Star Seeker and the Star Shard? Why didn't he give us that in Kingdom Hearts 2? We could have avoided all the gummy ship sections! Oh, come on! You don't even know your pal? Please, tell me the amnesia was just a sick joke. Boy, this is some cliché. He said it, not me. I know I've been here a long time. Wandering through the endless hours. Unable to escape. How has Aqua lurked around the Realm of Darkness for 11 years and not been able to find a way out? Mickey and Riku got out, Sora and Riku got out, and Ansem got out once too. Does time not pass here? What does Aqua eat? Does she not require sustenance? A boy like him who touches so many hearts. He could open the right door and save all those people whose lives I managed to ruin. So many are still waiting for their new beginning, their birth by sleep. Roll of credits. Then again, we've seen the credits like three times already. The only thing you drew was a big L on your forehead for loser, lame, laughable. Hey guys, Chara5 here. Thanks so much for watching my Cinema 6 parody of Everything Wrong with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I absolutely love this game and all the mechanics it introduced, but hoo boy does it add plot holes to a story that really didn't need them. <laughs> you guys should head on over to CinemaSense, the awesome people that I parody. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out Everything Wrong with Kingdom Memories 358 Ice Creams Over 2. Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Chara5, signing off. That's not real magic. Use some Kiraga or Zero Gravigon on that bitch. I don't even remember what that's for. <laughs> I don't remember the context of that one. <laughs> She's prettier than me. She has whiter skin. She must die. <laughs> Check your privilege. <laughs> she could have just asked, yo, magic mirror, is this fool going to bring me this heart, though? And <laughs> I wrote this script such a long time ago. I don't remember half the shit I wrote. <laughs> Oh yeah, the guy that accidentally created the guy that started this mess and that allegedly couldn't restrain him. Totes trustworthy. <laughs> Totes trustworthy. <laughs> Wait, what's this context? Well, <laughs> I feel like I'm really gonna laugh when I... <laughs> oh yeah. Kingdom Carts. <laughs> that's, that's the best f***ing pun I wrote. I <laughs> and I, I was... Working so hard on, like, finding a <laughs> a pun for that one. And I was like, oh, it's so easy. These are the questions you ask before I step- Ugh, this, this is actually pretty hard. He brought you out here and he won't let you row to and fro- To and fro. If they just trusted you, you wouldn't have pro- Ah, fuck. Ventus acts amazed at seeing Terra act- <clears throat> Chip and Dale voted for Terra, Horus voted for Aqua, and it's sort of safe to assume that Huey, Dewey, and Louie voted for- Voted for Ventus. They voted for Ventus. Chip and Dale voted for Terra, Horus voted for Aqua, and it's sort of safe to assume that Huey, Dewey, and Louie voted for... Voted... It's because there's two V words there, and it fucks me up. Chip and Dale voted for Terra, Horus voted for... Voted for Aqua... I keep going like Minnesota. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to put you through the ropes. Well, I don't like the way he said that. <laughs> Whoa, try to say that last part five times fast. We're wielders of those weapons once waged war... Oh my god, yeah, try to say that five times fast. I totally forgot. We're wielders of those weapons. Uh, I can't even do it once. We're wielders of those weapons once waged war. We're wielders of those we That's like 10,000 W's. <laughs> what I can't believe is that Sora, Donald, and Goofy walk from wherever to- Wherever to here. Wherever to here. Riku is apparently psychic. He foresaw the tear that would run down Sora's face. The tear. Did I say tear? I think I said tear. <laughs>